special occasions such as a birthday only come once a year. So I am sharing with you my day preparing for my daughter's second birthday party. And I just love being able to get my day started off right after breakfast with getting the veggie tray ready while my daughter um, makes a water mess of bubbles as well in the sink. But I always make sure to have a list for anything I do and it just helps me stay on track knowing what I need to get done and what items I need to have for her birthday party. And so when you're homemaking and you get to prepare for such events as a party, it's just something that I really want to put my mind into and my heart into to let that person know I love them, I care for them, and just to make it special and enjoyable for all the people who get to come. I feel like God has called me to be a stay-at-home mom and a homemaker and so even doing simple things like making my own hummus from scratch from raw chickpeas is something that just brings me joy and know that I can serve my guests and my toddler with and I just I reflect back to a year ago as we were um, in the COVID <laughs> crisis and so for my daughter's first, first birthday we only did a Zoom party and I actually have that vlogged as well up on my channel here but it's just such a joy to know we will have grandparents and family coming over to celebrate her special day of turning two. Preparing for events at my house often include things such as just quickly vacuuming, dusting, um, cleaning off surfaces, and usually I try to keep my home, as a lot of you know, pretty tidy and simple. That way, when it comes to preparing for things where people are coming over, I don't have a lot I need to do. But of course, vacuuming, I just love the vacuum lines. I don't know if you're like me, if you have carpet, just those clean lines of a floor having been freshly vacuumed. And then I thought I would try to get the pills off my couch. I need to get an electric little razor thing to get the pills off. So I'm just using a little handheld razor right now just to get some of it off the edge. And of course, my daughter's intrigued by what I'm doing. But that's just something I've noticed um, with a well-used in the secondhand couch that needed to be done. And then I wanted to have fresh pillow covers, so taking them all off and giving them a good wash and drying them. Just making them smell fresh, getting all the things off of them that have been on them for a while. And so that's just something that can be done to make a house inviting for a special event. And not that it needed to be done just because it was her birthday, but, you know, washing blankets and pillowcases is something that just makes an area and a space smell good and be more inviting. Now it's time to make her cake. And this is that chocolate cake recipe I think I shared in a different homemaking video, but I doubled the recipe, tweaked it a little bit differently, and it was delicious. You'll see at the end the decorated two-tiered cake that I did, as I love, like I said, making things special for the people I love and care for. <laughs> Making a space inviting for a special occasion also included my outdoor cement patio space. Just getting some of the wood chips off of the ground. We ended up putting a table out there. It was a little windy and chilly, so not a lot of people did end up going out. But I just wanted it to be inviting 
for people if they felt the desire to go outside. And I think that's important as a homemaker too, to make all your spaces seem welcoming even if they don't get used. look at my things I have for my home most items are secondhand but just because they are secondhand doesn't mean I can't care for them and I think you know that's really honoring to the Lord if you believe that way which I do um, just to care for things even if they are already well used and that just shows that you want to nurture and care for the things that God has given us. So we had to take a little break from the homemaking and go for a stroll. Seeing all these weed flowers in the rocks was just beautiful. Knowing spring is here and just enjoying a nice little walk with my daughter and getting some fresh air again. And then it was time again to get my patio set as well and... This chair was, again, a Facebook Marketplace find with a new cushion, and it was just time to spruce it up and get it cleaned. And one thing I've been realizing, um, comparing last year to this year, I was teaching still last year, even though it was all virtual and online this year. I've been very blessed to be able to prepare my garden and prepare my home more for spring than I did last year, as I am not doing the working mom um, life and having a career job. So it's been such a blessing and I just thank the Lord that God has allowed me to be able to stay home to do such things as make homemade cake and homemade frosting and prepare for a special occasion such as a second birthday and give it a lot of love and time to make it just something that will be remembered. you see me do this quite often a little spot cleaning slash mopping with my Swiffer microfiber cloth um, makeshift mop and I just it's so convenient and so easy to do that because really the main hardwood surface is our kitchen in our house and so just having the floors clean like it's the same thing with vacuuming the clean lines Having the clean um, mopped floor is just something that makes me feel good about my home and opening it, up, opening it up for people to come and enjoy this birthday visit. just remind me of being a mom and how we have to nurture them and care for them from the time they are little baby seedlings to growing into solid plants in the ground and so I just try to care for my plants to the best ability that I can and that's truly what God has called us to do as mothers if you are a mom and if you are just a homemaker with no children caring for your home that's just such a special way to nurture the things that you are given. I think one of my favorite parts about preparing for my daughter's second birthday was getting her cake decorated. I had a lot of fun and it did take some time doing this cake decorating, but it was just so special for her and fun to see her face light up when she saw it after I had decorated it for her baby shark theme party. 
and that's just something I think as a homemaker the reactions of joy and excitement that it brings to the people we serve is just the most amazing and wonderful thing and even if their reactions aren't always positive just knowing we still did it to serve our families and to make things special for them is important so i hope you enjoyed watching this day of preparation for my daughter's birthday and that just you feel inspired to make things special for your family and care for your home to make it a place of joy.